This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Well, at the raw taping, you have Honky Tonk Man returns to the company after a long six-year hiatus. Do you remember him returning at this point, JR? Do you remember how that came together? Who was behind it? Were you involved in those discussions with Honky? Of course. And uh, it was just at new talent, new faces, star power. And, uh, you know, I, it's always good to see Honky back in the picture. But uh, I don't remember exactly how it all came about, but we were just looking for fresh names, new names that has some name identity that might have some still some marquee ability and honky kind of fit that description. Mm. So, uh, it had, like you said, it had been six years since she had been in WWE. So it was good to see him. And, uh, he was there for a short time. Plus you got to imagine here with the Royal rumble coming, you need as many fresh, warm bodies as you can to fill up that, that classic Royal rumble match. I'm sure that might be a small part of it as well too. add a little. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's just like they're doing now getting ready for the Royal rumble. Yes. It's no different. It's always been the same. You, you want to add some new faces and give it a fresh coat of paint, so to speak for the entrance into the Royal rumble. So that's, I think that was sort of all that was quite frankly. Mm. And, uh, and also guys with limited skills. Don't, don't really have a problem working the rumble because all it's basically about a Royal where you're going to, as we all know, uh, and if you could take a bump over the top, you could, you're in, so to speak, you don't have to have a, be a great worker anymore. You have to be a personality and somebody that, uh, uh, you know, is, is, is somebody that's, uh, can, can is willing to take a bump over the top rope yeah, and that people remember. Yeah. That people remember a little bit too and have yeah, fond qualif- memories of qualifications. Aren't that strange. JR, you couldn't be more spot on at, you know, just going through the notes and talking about this change, that change, ECW, USWA, so on and so forth. Now here we are. There's talk of putting Bradshaw and Wyndham together as the new black jacks. Does anything with the word new in front of it ever get over? Not normally. Not normally. And, uh, I did like the, uh, Bradshaw Wyndham potential. Yeah. The pairing. Yeah. Uh, good heels. And, uh, they seem to fit each other's larger than life, Texas based personality. Uh, but I like the, uh, Bradshaw Wyndham, uh, pairing, uh, at that point in time, I thought it might, that had to, as all the shit we were trying that may have had the best chance uh, of a lot of uh, really getting over in time. Well, up next, the Grim Twins are let go from the WWF. And for those of you who don't remember the Grim Twins, that's Ron and Don Harris. JR, why didn't it work for these guys around this time? I think uh, they were not real uh, uh, pro. Sean, well, they weren't real pro with Sean Michaels. Ah. Uh, didn't have, you know, they weren't going to be intimidated or made to, to think that. Uh, they were in a place where they couldn't get out of or what have you. Uh, I think there's a little heat there with Sean and, and the, and the, the Harris twins. I know they had a little confrontation in the garden, uh, in a locker room, but they just, they weren't going to be trifled with, they weren't going to be intimidated and they didn't care. If Sean had to his ear or they didn't, mm. that's just them. He, they could care less. So, and it worked out where they left. Yeah. Well, uh, well, it's reported in the observer that tiger Jeet and tiger Ali Singh are on their way in more newness. How does this deal all come together? Jr. giant pain in the ass. Seriously. I mean, really, wow. that's what it was. Yeah. Uh, you know, a father trying to get his son booked, uh, using the potential of the territory of, uh, in India and in that, those areas. Uh, was, that was the deal there. So, uh, it was, a we, a way to, if we create a star that, that, that audience could identify with, then we took a major step in creating a brand, the WWF brand with an identifying star in India. Mm. Uh, but it was ill-advised. The kid wasn't ready. He had a great look, great smile, good body. Uh, he was going off the fumes of his father, you know, who was quite the character. Uh, and, but again, it was just the idea had had merit on paper, but.
but it was just the wrong people cast in the wrong way. Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.